Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I've been gathering data on a bunch of different things in the game to make videos like the one that you're currently going to see. They do take a bit of time to put together, but regardless, I'm working on trying to get a more consistent upload schedule. Anyways, with that said, let's jump into this video. Right off the bat, you might have noticed that the characters and the art featured in this video are from the previous patch, and that's because I needed additional data to compare the results I got from the previous Cosmic Core, the one from the Defenders patch, with the one before that, which is the one shown here, or the X-Men patch. Fun fact, I thought I broke the game when I collected so many Cosmic Cores, but this ended up just being a bug. <laughs> Anyways, the purpose of this video is to give you an idea of the cost breakdown for the Cosmic Core event if you're going for the most ideal rewards. What do I mean by most ideal rewards? Well, I'm referring to the ones that are kind of rarer to get than the other ones in the list. You can see all the options here, but if you kind of want to maximize your results from the Cosmic Core, you only want to go for specific options from this list. If you're willing to go for these options and spend the extra crystals, the ones that I would recommend are the Essence of Dimension, the Titan Component Packs, obviously any of the CTPs, including the new ones that were added, as well as the Mythic card. Now what you pick obviously depends on where you are with your roster and building your account, but in terms of the best items that you can get from the Cosmic Core, these are the ones to aim for. Previously I would have said that the CCF is a good pick as well, but since we have Mephisto now and Null, and they provide guaranteed CCF drops, it's not as good of an option as the other ones. If you wanted to reduce the crystal cost of the event further, you could also go for the gold, the three star uniform ticket, the black antimatter, and the chaos norn stones. However, for my testing, I didn't include these. Anyways, for this first event, you can see that I started off with 11,888 cosmic cores. I got pretty lucky going for my first reward since I managed to roll a CTP of destruction after just five attempts. This equated to 375 crystals spent for this reward, and as you can see on the screen, I included the multipliers for the cosmic cores to acquire this reward, which in total ended up being 2,145 cosmic cores. You can see I got pretty lucky on the second reward as well since I only got it after one roll. So this obviously cost me 75 crystals since that's the base cost for one roll. And to unlock the reward, it cost me 1,275 cosmic cores. Unfortunately, the third attempt wasn't as lucky since it took me nine rolls to get the reward that I wanted, which was a mythic card chest. As you can see, the crystal cost to get this reward was 675 crystals, and to actually unlock it was 1,540 cosmic cores. Five attempts later, I was able to get the next reward, which was Essence of Dimension. This equated to 375 crystals and a total of 1,830 cosmic cores. Unfortunately, the fifth reward was the worst one to roll, and sadly it took a total of 10 tries to get Essence of Dimension. And if it wasn't bad enough that it cost 750 crystals to get this reward, I also didn't get any 3 times multipliers for the Cosmic Cores, so it ended up costing 2,485 to unlock it too. Luckily, the last roll wasn't nearly as bad as the previous one, and only took 3 tries for the Mythic Comic Card. So for 225 crystals and 2017 cosmic cores, I was able to unlock the final reward. Funny enough, I finished off with a 3 times multiplier at the very end, which didn't matter because I only needed one. Anyways, you can see here that this event cost me 2,475 crystals, with the highest being 750 crystals for a total of 10 rolls, and the lowest being 75 crystals for one roll. So this averages to about 412 crystals for rolling each reward. In terms of cosmic cores, I started off with 11,888, with the highest being 2,485 and the lowest being 1,275. The final number you see at the end there means that based off my data for this cosmic core event, the average cost to unlock one reward in the event should take roughly about 1,903 cosmic cores. Not specifically that amount, but that's the amount I had for my testing. It's tough to get the exact value when you don't have a lot of data, but I did have another cosmic core run, which you'll see in a few minutes here, which can act to cross-reference the values in a way and kind of validate the results I got. The last column of numbers shows you the results I got for the chance to get a 1, 2, or 3 times multiplier every time you use Cosmic Cores to try to acquire your reward. So it's no surprise that the 1 times multiplier chance is roughly around 45%, 
the two times multiplier's chance is lower at about 38%. And finally, the three times multiplier chance comes in at roughly half of the two times multiplier chance, or in other words, 16%. You might be wondering why these numbers are important. Well, they kind of give you an idea of what to expect when you're trying to finish off in a reward and you only need a bit more cosmic cores to do so. So say you need three more rolls to get your final reward. You can now see the chance for each multiplier and kind of plan out your farming to acquire the reward before the event ends. Basically, if you're hoping to get that three times multiplier and finish off the reward, maybe farm a bit more just in case. So like I mentioned previously, these numbers aren't concrete. They're based on the amount of data that you have. So the more that you have, the closer you get to a true value or a more accurate result. With that said, here are the results I got for the most recent or second Cosmic Core event I did. For this one, I started off with 14,403 cores. And after just one try, I got the reward I wanted, which was Essence of Dimension. So that's 75 crystals for the roll, and luckily the cosmic core cost wasn't that bad either at 1,540. Sadly, the luck didn't continue here, and it took me 9 tries to get the next reward, which was Essence of Dimension. So this means that I had to use 675 crystals for this reward, and what's worse is that this was by far the worst cosmic core cost item as well, at a total of 2,850. That was zero three times multipliers on that last one, which was just brutal. Fortunately, the next reward that I rolled was TCP after just three rolls. And to make up for the horrible luck from the last reward, this reward ended up being my cheapest one in terms of cosmic core cost. I'll put up the stats in just a little bit here, but before I do that, I just wanted to segue a little bit if you're wondering how I got so many cosmic cores, and that's primarily because I do timeline runs and refresh those to do even more, although this isn't necessarily the best way for everyone since it does cost crystals. Other ways to quickly get your cosmic core count up is to do Shadowland stages by doing solo clears with just one character, as well as doing world boss invasion and giant boss raid every chance that you get, i.e. the three times multiplier. You can see from the stats here that this item cost me 225 crystals, and I was lucky enough to get the three times multiplier at least four times, which yielded a cosmic core cost of 1,035. Compared to the last one, that's only a third of the cost, and I will take that. Coincidentally, the third reward was also TCP and also took three rolls to get. However, even though the crystal cost was the same at 225, since I didn't get any three times multipliers this time around, the cosmic core cost was a little bit over double what I had before, so 2,480. Again, after another three more rolls, I got my fifth reward, which was Essence of Dimension. Since I managed to actually get some three times multipliers this time around, the cosmic core cost came out less, being 1,830, and the crystal cost is the same at 225. The second last reward here took only one roll to get the mythic comic card, and at 75 crystals and 1,275 cosmic cores, that's not too bad. I also finished with 3 times multiplier at the end, which would be kind of nice if it did something like refund your cores. But yeah, anyways, after two more rolls, I get my final reward, which is the Titan component packs. And luckily, this one starts off with three times multiplier. Unfortunately, still, the crystal costs 150, but because of the distribution of the multipliers, the cosmic core cost came out at 2,485, which isn't really too great. So here are what the stats look like for the second cosmic core event. You can see that this time around, the crystal cost came out to a total of 1,650, which ended up being about 800 crystals cheaper than the previous event even though I managed to roll one extra reward at seven instead of six. Unfortunately, I obviously didn't get any CTPs in the second event, but that's kind of besides the point. The highest cost reward this time around was 675 instead of the 750 from the previous one, and the low remained at 75 crystals or the one roll. The average was 236, which means that every reward in this event cost roughly about 236 crystals. Compared to the results from the last event, that's roughly about 200 crystals cheaper. Moving on to the core cost, I started off this event with 14,403 cosmic cores. The high ended up being 2,850, which is a little bit crazy, and also ended up being about 400 cosmic cores more expensive than the 
highest of the previous event. However, the lowest ended up being 1,035, which was roughly around 200 cheaper than the previous event. The last value, which is the average, was 1,929 which again, compared to the last event, was only about 30 points off. Because the values are only a few points off, it's fair to assume that if you're going to go for a reward, the cost is likely going to be around this range, so about 1,900 cosmic cores. In the last column, you can obviously see the multiplier chance, and this time around, it ended up being 48% for one times chance, 36% for two times chance, and 16% for three times chance. Compared to the last event, that's 3% higher on the one times chance, 3% lower on the 2 times chance, and exactly the same for the 3 times chance. So it's fair to assume because of the closeness of these values that these percentages aren't too far off from what the actual probability is. If you're wondering what the final values of everything was, I included them in this final stat sheet. You can see that the total cost for going for this particular rewards was 4,125 crystals with the average being 324 per reward. The rewards in question were a CTP of destruction, 3 Mythic cards, 900 Essence of Dimension, and 450 Titan Component Packs. This might not be worth it to a large number of players, and I'm not advocating doing this, but I'm simply showing what the cost would be if you were to try to go for rewards like this. Anyways, these results were based off the 26,291 Cosmic Cores that I ended up getting, and the most important number here is the 1,916, which is the average amount of Cosmic Cores needed to get one reward. So if there are cases where you are on the final day and you have about 1,000 Cosmic Cores left over, or even less, or maybe even a bit more, you might want to consider maybe not re-rolling into another reward and using up those 75 crystals because you would probably need around 900 more cores to maybe get the reward that you want. You could always risk it, but based on the results that I had from the 13 rewards that I got, only one of them was close to 1000 total cost for cosmic cores. The final column shows the probabilities that I got based off my data set again, but the probability or the true values of the probability are really dependent on the scale of data that you have. So you can take those with a grain of salt. Anyways, this is nearing the end of the video and I thought this might be a little bit more interesting than me just showing the results I got for the Cosmic Core event. Hopefully this information gave everyone some insight on the costs for going for certain rewards as well as how to plan around that final day to get that last reward or not depending on the cost. If you preferred this kind of video more than me just showing the results I got from either an event or opening certain boxes, then please let me know in the comments. Also, if you found the video entertaining or maybe the information useful, you could consider liking or subscribing. I have more content like this coming and it obviously helps my channel grow, but that's up to you. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the patch that comes out next week and testing and making videos for that. Thanks for your time and watching, but the video is now over.